And so they'll be able to sit behind, one behind each other, so there'll be one there, one there. They'll plug in, they'll take the fuel. When they've finished, they'll come and sit and wait on this side for their wingmen to finish fueling as well. Okay. And then once we clear them to leave, they will then climb a thousand feet and then head off. And that way it just clear, keeps that area down there clear yeah. for the next jets that are coming. Because as you can see, we've got, oh, that'd be a little photographer. We've got several coming all at once. Mark, do you want to go down? Yeah, I think it's Paul I'm trying to. Paul. Yeah. Hello, it's Mark. Do you want to go down? My daughter was nine, so the same age as Louise. I did just struck a chord, and I just I sent you a text straight away. Yeah. I said, "Oh, I don't think one's ever been on a, a tow line to do some refueling." So I, we took one, didn't we? Mm -hmm. um, and we got some photos doing the air-to-air -air refueling with the typhoons and stuff like that. Um, and then when we landed, I, I was getting off, and I walked past all the empty seats on the jet, and I just. Sent you that text. Yeah. So I just had a really stupid idea. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon we could get enough giraffes to fill a whole with And it's here we are six months later, and we've managed to find enough. More, more than enough. Yeah. More than enough. Yeah. Yeah. So all the ones in the room are from local school children. So from Bryce, Carterton, Whitney, um, Farringdon. Because we emailed them all. We said we're going to do a flight. If you've got a giraffe, please send it, and we'll take it on the flight. And then at the same time, Ian and Sean on the website started selling tickets so anyone around the country can take part as well so then you started receiving a whole load of giraffes in the post yeah. <laughs> so that's where we are today so you've got a van with 200 giraffes yeah. downstairs we've got 95 or so in this room and a bit later we're going to go put them all on an airplane and tomorrow morning we'll take them all for flight because yeah. they've all you've got loads of photos of all he's been in about 70 airplanes hasn't he oh, yeah, Jeffrey. Bus, yeah. but it was just the thought that He'd never, they'd never flown together. No. And it was just an idea, why don't we see if we can get them to all fly together? And that, that's where the idea came from. Mm. And then we spent the last five months emailing people and badgering Gemma Lee to do interviews <laughs> to get enough giraffes <laughs> and get people to email us and, and go and pick up their giraffes this morning. So we have to get clearance from Iowa. Oh yeah, yeah. So I thought, I think they thought it was crazy. The boss was on leave that week. And so one of the squadron leaders was in charge. So I, I struck, I chose my moment to oh, strike. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, could you approve something while well, the boss is away and then it's done and he's oh sure and we chat about it and he said we could um and then the boss came back a wee later and said apparently i've authorized you to fly 300 giraffes on the airplane <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and then it made sense to invite these guys down to come on the flight as well and, and get as many photos as we can and uh, put them online so that's that's the idea behind it and if we can raise a bit of money in the process for, for the charity in great ormond street yeah. then that's that's the bonus isn't it so Charities through a bit. Yeah. yeah, I think we're about three and a half thousand pounds. I think yes. so. from this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a uh, little thank you oh, from myself and everybody at Drafts and Saw on Great Ormond Street. Thank you to everyone at Ten Squad and at Brizenall for uh, doing such an amazing thing for us. You're very well. It's been a pleasure, no, genuine yeah. pleasure. So I thought about doing this now, because it's going to be a busy day tomorrow, and I'm soon we've got to get off the aircraft very quickly. So. Oh, that's super. Thank you so much. No, it's been a real pleasure. Thank you all. No, thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks, Mike. There you go. Got it. Right, come on, Jeffrey. Let's do this. Come on. Are we going to get them on? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll walk
Guys, we'll just finish the tickets we've already got the tickets on and then we'll just think about getting onto the aeroplane um, and we'll finish any other tickets tomorrow. Right guys, can we get everyone down towards the door and we'll think about jumping to the vans and heading off? things we've done we've kind of checked the weather checked any notices checked the tech log things like that so it's all the normal pre-flight stuff we've done so far and then in a couple of minutes the, the deck squadron leader wheels will come in and then we just run through our out brief with him and effectively convince him that we know what we're doing so we'll sign us to go flying and then he'll sign the all sheet which is our permission to go flying so um before we get to you, just admin notes or bits and pieces firstly this is your flight enjoy it um these guys are going to look after you really nicely. Um, please follow any instructions or anything they ask you to do. Um, also the seatbelt signs. The plan is they'll be off throughout and it looks like it's going to be a nice smooth day. If the seatbelt sign comes on, find a seat, a passenger seat nearest to you, move the giraffe, sit in it and just plug yourself in and then just wait to hear from these guys or the PA and we'll tell you what's going on. Um, but apart from that, the airplane is yours to have a look around, take photos anywhere, take videos. For the flight deck, maybe just no more than two at a time just because it can get quite crowded in there and you'll always have either Sam or myself in the cabin with you as well to kind of point things out and show you what's going on and stuff like that so, um, so that's that bit we've got some headsets also so when you're in the flight deck you can pop the headsets on so you can hear us chatting to the jets and, and the and stuff like that um, I think that's it unless you've got any thoughts or questions Sorry, I have got one, sir. Oh, are yeah. you going to have the seatbelt signs on when we're starting AAR, or are you going no, to leave them? No, that's why we'll, we'll just do the PA to say we're starting AR. Because I just want the seatbelt signs almost like a normal airliner. If the seatbelt lights come on, it's because I need you to sit down for yeah. some reason. So I, just, I find that less than using, yeah. them, using them for other things. So, um, so I think that's it for those bits. And in terms of timing, We'll be doing this brief in the next five minutes. The bus is at, on the hour, so at nine, and that'll give us 20 minutes when we get there to get some photos in front of the jet. Um, so when we get to the jet, someone can nip down the back and maybe get some of the really big giraffes, because the photographer's going to meet us there. 
after that 20 minutes, we will then need, certainly the flight crew, we'll need to just focus on getting the airplane ready to go flying and stuff like that. And we'll leave you in Sam's kick around. He'll take you for a walk around the jet and all that kind of stuff. So, um, that's all I've got. Any questions or anything? No, but I would like to hand you all a patch for the flight. Oh, yeah, thank you. Sure. <laughs> that's very kind of Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, sorry. That's right. One more. I need one more. Sure, we've got one. That's it. No, I've got one. That's it. Is everybody ready for outreach? Well, right. Thank you. That's the email from Corte. We'll have to do this. Right, task, it's UK tow line, area 8 to 5 with lots of Typhoon F-35 receivers. Flight duty period, not an issue, we've got a long day. We're going to have, I think it's 14 POV, six of us and eight of you guys. Um, weather, it's lovely everywhere, easterly winds, so 07 departure and arrival, um, crosswind of Birmingham. There's quite a strong wind in the area, about 65 knots, but it's mostly down the area, so nothing too crosswindy there. Um, but apart from that, it's no cloud, nothing. It's, it's a glorious day to go flying, so it shows a good day to come. Uh, call sign, Giraffe 291. <laughs> uh, Litchfield departure to Area 8, and then round the eastern side of 323s. We've got an OFP, we've got a flight plan, dip clearances. Uh, Royal flights, about Thank you all. Uh, no terms, the main ones here at Fry's, a lot of taxiways closed, so we'll be down the active Bravo Alpha takeoff. Um, I think that's it, no power dropping today. Uh, map warnings, danger areas. Okay, so in the area X, start off with, uh, it, north of that is 323, which is active all day, it's really busy and there's lots of bits and bobs going on. So we, the chance of getting through that to so go north will be up on zero, so we need to come around the, uh, around the east. And we looked because the, the timing is a spot, I mean, so half an hour, not more yeah. than a minute day, so that's really plenty to get through. Uh, so that's 323 active all day. Uh, when we get to area 5, to the north of us there, 613, that's cold, which is surprising all, all day. Uh, I will check that on, not on the way out, because it just doesn't make true, but I'll, I'll, I will double check. Yeah. Um, the major thing for us is 513, which is obviously encroaches slightly on area 5, is active um, for our on task period until 60 minutes. Okay. Um, the so what effect is we're flagging at 200 and also we get up to 230 for that alpha portion. So let's just keep, keep an eye on that. Um, ATC were good the other day when we were in there. They, they actually let us know there was somebody floating around, but they just made sure that we kept to the north of that. I'll, if if there's somebody in there, I'll put a line on the EPS just to that north point and I'll sort of scoot over there so you can do the Conflictors, there's nothing on anywhere today whatsoever. So it sounds like we're the only tanker up there today. Um, charts. Well, it's EFP for us. Um, route bag we've got, but it's mostly full of cookies and headsets, to be honest. Um, flight folder we've got with all our packages. <coughs> um, fuel plan, fuel, fuel. Uh, yes, so uh, we're taking off at 9.30Z. We're off task at 9.30Z. Uh, we're going to land at 15.30Z, which is six hours. Uh, we get a min from area 5 to 10. A give of 39.1 and a burn of uh, six hours plus the climb of two tons, which gives us 38, which gives us a min fuel required of 87.4. We're loading her up to 101 tons, which gives us 13 tons to really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tail number is 337, it's definitely the same aircraft. <laughs> uh, it's parked where we left it last night, Bay 54, with I think it's actually got on. I, said, I think I said 100 tons actually, so sorry Simon. <laughs> uh, no EDDs, no DIC, special ground handling, no departure, arrival, it'll be just getting all the bags off into the minibus 
and then we'll get back to the hub and we'll sort them all out at the end. So um, relatively swift, but we won't rush it, um, and we don't want any fod, no plastic bags flying out the airplane. So um, required landing time. There is a jet going to see you, so I think we've got to be back at 1625Z unless. Yep. goes at 18.25, so two hours on the ground, so, so we can't really extend um, on task in terms of time. Uh, where do I get to? Call signs, have it raise a ghost darkness, and then same again later. And I saw this again the other day, ghost and darkness, then they come split, mixed, we we'll just have to deal with that as they come. Uh, IFF codes will be standard. Thank you. Comms card, no tads, and not expecting to compound mid MPS. Yeah, it'll be on, uh, the MPS will be on the feed web uh, to, to uh, try to move the clock again to come back to the way uh, The MPS I'll just set up to run like a few stuff on. Admin, crew notices uh, the fire retardant blanket um, bag thing was reissued. And for AR, there's the technical notice if you've got any pod faults, primary props, things like that. But we're not doing energy, we're not doing all the other stuff that crew notices are right. Uh, ECRs are up to date. Find them for me. Good. Passports not required, but tag them if you've got them, and you guys have all got ID, haven't you? Yeah. In case we don't land back at Bryce. That's a fly, that's a fly. Dot sheets, change zero, area eight, RV alphas, flight level 160 to begin with, air tackers on there, tank state message should be for you, modes and codes we've talked about. We're not doing tans, we're not doing spray, we're not doing ops. Time checks, so. We want the airborne 10.30, 10 minutes to get down to 07, so taxi 10.20. So we want the doors at 10.10 10 for engine start. Sorry, sorry, I'm on, I'm on local time. So 9.30, take off, 9.20 taxi, 9.10 doors and steps. So let's say we've got until 8.30 zoo photos and anything like that and from that point the three of us are going to look like they're coming in and then you'll get your hands on. Um, threats, errors, differences. Difference number one, distraction. Mitigation, we've bought an extra pilot specifically to help with the distraction of having extra passengers and giraffes and things on board. Uh, for me, uh, we mentioned about the last uh, level of seats given the, the 15 minutes that we spoke to ops already to try and get them to come there early. That's, that's a bit more worrying because we've just mentioned the fact we can't be off late. So yeah. if they aren't there on time, yeah. we can have our um, next guys at the moment for them there for the next week. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we've effectively got a hard exit time, haven't we? Yeah. And we told them we can get up there early, we told them we'll, tr we'll plan to get there early. And that they can come over as well. Yes. Yeah. So. Uh, probably just with like recovery and everything being sorted in the back versus us recovering the aircraft. Yeah. Zero and again, that'd be a good time to split again. I'll be back in the flying seat by that point. Yeah. Sam can be in the back, and then we'll just keep the, the flight deck sterile for, for all the approach and landing and all that kind of stuff, despite the chaos that's going on in the camp. Do you have any more note pictures? Oh yes. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, we've also got, how many guys, are you going to run it as a bit single cabin crew with a helper or are you going to put that out? Yeah, it's single crew ops, so yeah. we've it's checked. training for the melee, so. Oh, perfect. Um, what a day to train on. <laughs> um, uh, we've checked the weight and balance the panel. We've, we've done the first, uh, the front eight seats. You'll see if we can get clear for a few minutes at the side. So you'll be L1 and L2. We've got all the doors to be on. All doors to be on, yeah. So, for those differences for you? Covered it. Um, obviously, just management of people on the flight deck. Yeah, so. and again, we'll, that would be kind of your bag or mine if I'm not in the seat, and just kind of in there to chaperone support. We've got two headsets, but they'll be on their own box, so we can't talk over anybody and stuff like that. Um, happy, you are authorised. I understand there's about 100,000 giraffes in the world. 
pieces you've got a kilogram of fuel per giraffe. <laughs> 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 and then finally, I only do this just for fun, uh, the sweepstake. How much fuel do you think we're actually going to give away? <laughs> so, we'll go Thebes first. Uh, 46.7. 46.7. Sam? Lee? I'm a real skeptic. 37. 37. <laughs> Do you know what? No, I reckon, I reckon the second lot, only a couple of them are going to come. I don't think we're going to see six. I'm going to go 34 and a half. Yeah, I'm just going to go. Really? 37. Oh, I was thinking more in the middle of that. I had 36 in my head. Yeah. I got 36. 36. Who writes it all up? Maybe see. Who's in control of the field flow? Yeah. That's us. A uh, bus will be downstairs. Yeah. Yeah.
grab your shoulder at the end. Okay. 